Hello and welcome back to Dom Plays Luck Be a Landlord. Today we're just going to go right into it and take it nice and chill. Um, if you can't tell by my voice, I am ill. Woo! So, looking over it, I've, it's been a while since I've played, about like a day or two. And now they have like a version uh, with a little hotfix, but unfortunately the next update has been delayed by three weeks. So that's a little bit sad. But, you know, it's, if he wants to make it super good and make it really nice, then that's that's great too. So we can wait. That's perfectly fine. So, let's just jump into it and see what we can do. My throat is perfectly fine, don't worry. Um, I just am ill. I'm a little bit croaky. I'm a little bit congested. Uh, but it doesn't stop me from wanting to play the video game. So <laughs> we'll just carry on anyway. So we've got a miner and a couple bits of ore, which is nice to work with. And then a golem, beautiful stuff. Swear jar's going to help us out at the start, due to the fact that we're not making too much money, even with the um, the dwarf, the dwarf, the miner. <clears throat> it's not going to do too much. He will still give us like ten or or so much if he if he gets more, but you know it's not going to be too amazing. So that's cool. Get ourselves a key. Get ourselves a bubble. Bubble's going to give us some cash. Bob's gonna give us some cash. We'll get a bounty hunter just in case we find some thieves. And the golem has popped, and we finally actually got over um, 30 in a single spin, which is great. I think in this situation I'll go for a rabbit fluff, and then three or more of the symbols same um, are adjacent. We really don't have too much opportunity for this right now, but there will be a possibility that we'll have enough shiny pebbles and enough pearls. Adjacency might not be our thing, but you know, who cares. So far this miner is the sole reason we're surviving. I kind of wanted to grab that pearl there just to have a little bit more chance of this purple pepper giving us five coins. It's purple pepper, 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 but we're alright. Grab ourselves a billionaire. And, um, yeah. Let's just have a look. Da I'll grab a target. I feel like I like targets lately. Due to like Robin Hood and everything. I'll grab a bubble there. Um, I feel like targets have like a bit more worth than usual. Um, they, they definitely have uh, more ways that they can work. A conveyor belt. Okay. I'll grab a conveyor belt. Maybe we can transition into something nice. Hex of Midas. No, thank you. I will skip here. Due to the fact that we have a swear jar. We have, do I have dwarf? I do. Grab a beer for the dwarf. I have a swear jar. I have plenty of gems and a lot of luck chance. Um, due to that, we'll get ourselves a chemical seven. Hello, maybe, 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 maybe uh, the geologist might grace my presence, and we could have a nice chill geologist run whilst I'm recovering. I'm drinking plenty of hot tea still. Um, I had to spend a little, a couple days, just completely and utterly out of commission. We don't have any empties, but we have three symbols that are the same, so getting the green pepper will do very nice for us. So now we get both five from the purple pepper if we have adjacency stuff, which isn't always the case, but we'll always be getting three due to the fact that we own the same. We have a key, so lockbox, wealth capsule is going to pop, give us some more money. Um, definitely getting in there when it comes down to the cash front. Get, do I have another key? I don't, but we'll grab the lockbox anyway. Um, hopefully that will do something for us. Uh, I'll get another target. I feel like if we get like a Robin Hood, then it gives us a reason for having a Robin Hood. Um, and if not, it's still giving us like two coins per turn, so it's not even too bad. Right, so a bar of soap is just going to give us free stuff. Black Cat, don't really want to give two if no more than two symbols are the same well we we have way more than that so we'll grab the fish tank and there will be a possibility that we can in fact gain goldfish and buffing capture is just going to give us extra money for existing which is always lovely uh, another big ore for the miner which sounds good because he's going to give us some extra cash and a silver arrow which is beautiful just in case it, it wants to hit the targets until then it will still give us decent money um also, we, we managed to triple the miner and the ore, and the ore turned into a 
um, a void stone there. So we got a, a big chunk of cash from that, which is great. And we have a bounty hunter, so sure, we'll get a thief. Uh, even if the thief dies on the same turn, he will still give us money. Which he did. And we got ourselves a geologist. We have been graced by his beautiful presence. And we now have an opportunity to make quite a lot of money. What we do need is an oyster, as we have a conveyor belt. And I will grab a beer here. Billionaire, not going to be needed. We're going to be watching this um, geologist start eating through all of our stuff very quickly. Um, which is perfectly fine, as long as we um, we got ourselves to the boundary we need to, to be in. We got ourselves an oyster now. We managed to triple him, so it should bring us near the 350 mark. So we're still doing okay. I don't have um, an egg carton, but re-rolling into a secondary oyster is always beautiful. So we have the promise and start of a very nice build now. Miner actually gave us a bit more cash there because he's sweet of us, but he's very sweet. I honestly thought we had the arrow situation work there. Didn't happen, but hey. Uh, removed one of our targets again. Beautiful stuff. Grabbing ourselves uh, a little bit of excess cash, which is honestly quite needed. Um, I don't know if everything's guaranteed to be rare. It's not, so that's fine. Let's get ourselves the mining pick. Um, which now means if we do in fact get ore, um, we can do some stuff with it. Magic key is fine. I was going to re-roll for something else, but like go for another geologist, but I think we're honestly okay. I'm going to re-roll here, grab a shiny pebble, um, and I'm trying to look at where we're at for cash. So we need a, a little bit more for sure. Buffing capsule could help out in that situation. The geologist is starting to pay out with 19 per spin. We have about 45 in the swear jar what we do need is like a good triple on the geologist or something um wine for the dwarf could help us out target could help us out wine for the dwarf maybe if we get lucky anyway 21 43 for that spin take another target Geologist is gonna clap some more cash 40 foot. Okay, cool. So we're still we're still in it. We're still okay. I don't really need the removal capture, but what we can do is we can remove the cherries and we can remove that stuff, and then we'll just have a screen where a lot of stuff is just like set. Cool. So we have the wine doubled up with the with the the billionaire, which is actually pretty good. We can grab ourselves some mine. Clear sky. Wow! No. I'm getting black pepper. <laughs> I do what I like. Right, so we're looking really good. Another big ore. Anytime we mine the ore, we're going to get money. Anytime the geologist picks stuff up, we're going to get more cash. TDM capsule could give me another oyster. Mine's going to pop. This is going to give us a mining pick, so we're going to get more than one. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to re-roll again. Iron capsule, don't want, don't care. Ore is great though, because it just turns into more things that we can eat. Um, as well as that, we have a conveyor belt for the oysters. So, I'll get another billionaire, that's fine. Having the billionaires kind of feels like we're, we're stacking up cash. We've got double void stone pop with a minor, you know, giving us some extra money there too. And another target for the arrow, so be it. If it wants to choose at some point in time. Farmer. I don't really want you. We can just kind of skip him. He's not going to do anything for us. We hit the target. We tripled the geologist here. So we're now in plenty of money. I'm sitting there Do I even want a coal? No. I don't really want a coal. I don't need it. It's not necessary. So bronze arrow. No, thank you. We're okay without it. We'll just take the one arrow that we do have. And then maybe we will see some other things that we can do with uh, Lucky Cat. We'll take Piggy Bank. Yeah, again, Lucky Cat, not necessary. We're probably going to get rid of the cat very shortly. We're also going to get rid of the coin. We've got ourselves a third oyster. And, you know, this is a, quite a nice build to kind of come back to. I've been, I've been off and I've been ill for, for a little bit. I haven't got to play the game for a while because I've just been in bed. You can tell by my throat, mm, very gravelly. Um, but you know, 
good stuff. The geologist no longer graces our presence on the screen because we've got way too many oysters. Diver, no thank you. I could have picked the oyster there, I just saw it on the right hand side of my screen. Alright, with the removal, let's get rid of the rabbit fluff, get rid of the coin, get rid of the, um, of the dwarf. Uh, and get rid of the miner. Alright. So now all we have is uh, stuff to be eaten by pearls. Things to be tripled. And the a possibility of getting some lockboxes open. These these billionaires are just hanging out. Just because they just want to have a bit of fun, I guess. But we're waiting for, for them to just get ready to be completely nutty mauled. Um, by a guillotine if it was to show itself up at any point in time. But we're, we're looking really, really good. We are already past one set of rent. I have no idea where we're at. X-ray machine's a really bad choice. We'll get white pepper, because if we get multiples of three, then so be it, we'll get more money. Due to the fact that we have conveyor belt, um, these oysters are a 40% chance to pop which is basically almost every single turn, which is absolutely amazing. No good turn there, well, I mean, no good choice there, sadly, but, you know, it happens. Sometimes, sometimes we don't get anything good. We have so many safes and lockboxes. I mean, a very, like, a, a lucky pirate roll would be great, and then we could have the pirate. I, If I actually haven't seen any goldfish since, like, when I asked this question, could you let me know? I feel like I may have just missed a goldfish at some point. I, I'm pretty good at doing that. I'm fairly terrible when it comes down to the fish tank meta and uh, paying attention to it. Another oyster seems beautiful. Now, this is kind of reminiscent of um, one of my first ever geologist builds. Look at that. That's crazy. Luckily, due to the positioning of everything, we've got to open up to get these two shiny pebbles when we get but hey ho. Pretty great. Normally, the we actually took out the, the final target. It wasn't like we actually needed it for money, but hey, a Robin Hood no longer necessary. Another geologist sounds perfect. Lint roller is not going to help us. Uh, Yellow pepper gives us money. I mean, I'll take the lint roller anyway. But now we have the point in time that we have two geologists and we can start stacking them up. Now, all we really want to do from here is kind of maintain not having too much luck and then just having like a ton of boisters. I kind of like I keep clicking lock boxes as like a situation where I'm like this is an investment we will get we will get things for it but it's like we don't need to we don't need to right so what do I want to see I want to see more oysters, I want to see more mines. Getting more mines is great, mining picks is awesome. Um, um, with conveyor belt we have basically the ultimate geologist build. I mean, at the same point in time we don't need to get thieves or anything. We probably just want a bit more removal and we can just remove everything. And then we'll just have exactly what we want on the board. Which is uh, oysters, mines and geologists. My first ever build that I did when it came to geologist, which actually did um, explode a little bit uh, on, the, on, on, on YouTube, I completely and utterly thought that getting more than one geologist was um, like it wasn't a good idea. So I literally just have one geologist the entire time because um, I'm a big dummy. We'll get uh, a magic key here. And then capsule machine. I was hoping that the magic key would double, like it would hit more than one thing, but hey, that's okay. We don't need the Beastmaster, I don't need a miner. We'll carry on. We have plenty of money, so we're doing really well. Another tedium capsule opportunity for oysters, which is always great. I can't believe he decided to not show up just because we have empties. He's just like, oh, I know that I've got like, he's not showing up again. What a lazy geologist. We've got the rabbit fluff because it's free money. This guy's got like, you know, he's, he's making us 78 per spin. And he decided to not show up for two spins. That's just rude. Alright. <laughs> we grab ourselves a void creature. Because he'll, he'll pop eventually, but like at the moment he doesn't have to, which is fine. Another rabbit fluff for free money. 
and then any side of these oysters pops were, were looking good. I, I honestly, I'm grabbing these billionaires for fun, under the pretense that like, I get to murder them all um, when when the guillotine comes. So what's lovely is that geologists do in fact share the pearls, like they'll both stack up on it, which is great. And yeah, all right, these are all rares, so maybe we want to get something. We'll get another magic key. That seems fine. Horseshoe is okay. We managed to pop one more lockbox. Ah, here I am, just trying to slowly get rid of all these guys. But this is where Magic Key really comes in handy. I'm super, super glad that um, it was added in an update. Because you, when when you're kind of sitting at a level of, like, not having high rarity, or, like, if you have, like, Golden Carrot or something, and you're just, like, super, super lucky, you're not gonna... You're not gonna see... Um, keys anymore so even like if you randomly don't have a lock pick for a very long time you're you still have the possibility of uh of unlocking it right so yeah all right we've got the safe gone now beautiful stuff uh wild card is is i mean i'll take it i don't want it but i'll take it because i know a lot a lot of you are like oh my god he got a wild card and he didn't pick it. The wild card's great, right? Because it can just stand next to a to an archaeologist, a geologist even, and then give us like the same money. However, like for for what I'm going for at the moment, all I want to do is probably get the geologist to like a, a decent number, right? I probably want like way too many oysters, and I want to just stack up a geologist really 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 high um and then that's that's my game plan because i think we're probably going to be um i don't want to grab a safe we've i think we've now done the job of unlocking everything and we we now no longer have uh crap filling up a board and by that i mean i can get rid of the bounty hunter too and then all we want now is just like a couple more oysters. I, the gear team will get rid of these guys, but I can remove them now. I have enough to remove them, and that, that's perfectly fine. Have I still not seen a single goldfish? So the very the very the very rare pirate shows up, um, which is like awesome. But I'm skipping because uh, it's it's not. Um, part of what I'm wanting to do for, for today's episode, which is I want to make the ultimate geologist build. Uh, and if we're talking about the ultimate geologist build, one, you, you want to have many geologists. Two, you want to have a couple of mining picks, at least, so you make a lot of money when ores are destroyed, so if mines show up, then you, you make cash from that. Um, and, and three, you want a lot of oysters and conveyor belt, which we have done. So, you know, stick around. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, I kind of want to just get this guy up to like a really high number. We've already got him 100. Which I know that like technically if I wanted to do that, I should just... Um, I should just have him by himself. But hey. Another really good way to play a geologist build is to get card shark, if you're lucky. Um, and then have like a, a lot of diamonds. Or like, like a lot of thingies. <clears throat> okay, we didn't get anything there, unfortunately. Cardboard box isn't going to help us, but hey. More removal for no reason. Uh, and any arrows are kind of going to help us. But we are making quite a lot per turn. The thing is, is that the reason a geologist build can get you endless um, is because it has the ability to, to stack up more per turn. Especially if you have multiples and you can also triple them. You'll, you'll make more than the rent cycle per like literally the, the first turn due to the ever constant stacking from these oysters. So I want to see probably like three to four more oysters. Thank you very much. Asking you shall receive. That is the art of the game. I mean, the art of the game is luck, right? But I think I just must use it or something. I could grab bubbles and everything else. Like that would be a thing that would work. Um, it would just, you know, um, then disappear. 
so it's it's free removal so it, it would make money and then remove but at the same point in time i don't i don't need to i know that some people like to they like to have all their empties filled but with a, a geologist build i like to have like a ton of empty space because then it means that every time the oysters have a chance to spawn there's another one um the stuff gets basically eaten on, on the same spot. I love these billionaires just staring at you in the corner of the screen like, Hello, I don't know what I'm doing here. Because every now and then, even with all the, the empties, you're still going to have situations where like the main geologist decides to not show up. Kind of rude, if you ask me. We can get egg carton now, so if I see eggs, I can choose them. And I think... So I could do two things. I, we can get some item capsules and like hopefully get guillotine, or I could just remove these billionaires. I don't, I don't know right now. I'm currently, I'm currently in debates. I should have picked the pearl there. I saw it, but I didn't pick it because I, was, I, I don't know. I was just like, hey, I've got a million oysters. That's so just tunnel vision, um, which is my usual when it comes down to it. We tripled this wild card, which is great because it's going to get 120 from this and turn it into 360. Beautiful stuff beer not necessary i almost thought the big boy hadn't shown up this time around but he did that's perfectly fine i was gonna get very very angry at him for just deciding to not show up and we can grab pool balls because hey we're in a situation where we're super high up so might as well get extra common like extra money per spin and here we are he's at 120 already um i don't know where the other ones are at they're, they're at a level um of money i don't know too much. 60 on this one, but 27 on this one. Uh, this one decided to eat all of them. He's now N64 level. I mean, one of the best consoles in game. Let's get the item capture. We have capture machine. This could possibly give us guillotine, so next turn around these, these guys could die. I'm not even going to check. We'll just wait. Uh, I'll grab an oyster here. We've got the... We can grab an egg here, and we can skip that one from the... I had the... My brain. He has stopped working. The um small symbol bomb. That's the one. All right, we've got some more rares. Don't want anything here. That's fine. Time machine's not going to be necessary for us. We'll grab it anyway. It's an uncommon. Get rid of it. And we have the constant builds. So the only thing that would technically make this better, right? And grab a golem. Uh, golem will explode, turn into war. The only thing that would technically make this build better would be a telescope, because it means that aura protractor, because it means that on any turn, any time, that was an egg or a shiny pebble, I should have probably picked the egg, because the egg card. We have one egg in the egg card right now. Um, because it means that any any couple turns, uh, there would be the possibility of um, just, you know, stuff. Them, take, them eating all of the gems at the same time. So I'm actually going to remove the billionaires now. Very sorry, billionaires. I don't want you anymore. We we got two golems on the, on the map, which means there's going to be a lot of ore that's going to just find its way onto the screen. And during this point in time, we're also going to be getting money from the mining picks. So honestly, not worth it to to keep the guys there, especially because there's going to be a ton of mining that will be happening. I love when these guys stack up because they're just sharing all the wealth. Uh, and we're doing pretty good. Another oyster sounds perfect to me. Plenty of ore, mine it, get the shiny pebbles, get the money, get the everything. But just make your way through it. And then, there we go. Got 30 from that because we make 10 every time we mine something. And we mine three ores. Got this guy that's about to pop too. And he's just surrounded by everything. Due to the fact that we do in fact have ore as well. Um, there is a possibility that the, the the ore could turn into diamonds or something, so we've got to keep that removal just in case, because we don't need it. We don't need it. All right. What a way to come back to my roots. I'm so happy with this one. Sure, it's a pity that we're going to have to wait another three weeks before the, the big, big update comes, but, you know, um, I'm excited for it anyway. Uh, Joker, Farmer, Tomb, no. Birdhouse, Goodlock, Shrine, no. Don't really need any of this. They're all uncommons, though. Grab one of them, get them out of the pool. And we're looking great. We, we now have... This guy seems... He, like he's more of the go-getter of the geologist bunch like he seems that he's, he's the one that's really looking to, to for the work 
trying to push himself. He's almost, you know, we've got almost 150, 150. They're almost 50 apart now. Get ourselves some more ore, sounds fine. I mean, he's just sneakily finding his way into the corners. What do I think I want to see at the end? Another billionaire. We can grab the egg. Oh, I remembered. I remembered. I remembered that I had an egg carton and we have two eggs in it right now. Look at that. We've seen a goldfish too. Oh my god. Has Dom turned to New Leaf? Has he remembered the art of putting passive money away into passive locations? It's crazy. Another billionaire? He's not even gonna look at him. Alright, so we hit 150 on this geologist. We have 60 on this guy. Another ore sounds beautiful. I mean, it's just do this is just it's just wonderful. What a what a way to come out. I know my throat may sound a little bit awkward, so I apologise. But I'm okay, honestly, I promise. I've drunk so much tea. Whoa. Wow. I've drunk so much tea, and I've, I've had so much bed rest and medication. So I'm okay. Another egg. Look at that. We're going to have three in there now. And honestly, this is, this is just beautiful. I love this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many do I have? I have nine oysters. Give me one more. One more, and then we got like the perfect amount, and then we just have these guys that just eat. We're just nom 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 nom. So we're already at the four thousand mark. We're, st we're we're still we're still ahead. Just right. Nothing I wanted there. Um, none of this matters um, for sure. We got this the one arrow just doing a nice job of like tripling a dude every now and then. And as you can see, we've already hit rent for this one, but we kind of need to average out. In, I actually didn't count how many spins we have, so let's ha let's look at how many spins we have and see what we have to average out. So we have eight more spins. So yeah, we have to average around like a, a buffing capsule, buffing there, um, around 400, 500 a spin at the moment. And as you can see here, that's around 400, even with like no actual multiplication of what's going on just due to the fact these guys are so high up 300 on that one We've got the goldfish <gasps> he remembered sorry sorry i'm not gonna do that every time but <laughs> it's, it's the way we go isn't it beautiful number 400 shiny pebble is fine because it will get here eventually this is the one time we get unlucky and we miss everything but we triple up uh, and feel good about ourselves There we go, look at that. Keep, keeping the place clean, removing all those pearls. Tripling this dude and giving us 700 in a spin. I don't have coin on a string, so I can I skip the coin. Because I skipped coin on a string for something else. And that's okay. So we have this guy at 174. I have this guy at 86, 112. Another 400 in that spin. So we are, we're still... Happily endless, and we're doing a pretty good job of keeping it that way. I mean, maybe even getting like another another coin might be a good idea. Another coin, not another coin, Dom. Another arrow, another arrow, or like another wild card, or like another uh, geologist might be fine. Get another common, that's fine. Another uncommon even. Now, as we can see here, we're already at the rent. Uh, and what's the rent now? 5,000. So, yeah, so now we have to average about 500 per spin. Because the spin, like, it's every 10 spins. Um, 434. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe we need, like, one more geologist or maybe an arrow. I mean, even a golden arrow would help. Wild card would also help because it just gives us the possibility of making a little bit more money. Take a buffing capsule, maybe we get lucky and we get both of them. We did. We hit the the wild card too. So it's gonna take this money that's doubled and then double it again, right? Yeah, look at that. 2000 There we go. So we hit the room for the next one. Goldfish! He did it. He did it. This wild card's gonna get a big, beefy, like two or three. Whoa! Insane. I forgot that triples. Gone. You're stupid. Alright, we finally got our tenth oyster. This guy's almost sitting at 200 now. We've got 122, 100. This guy's caught up. There was 50 in between. Another egg for the egg carton. We only have two more eggs left to go. 
and um, yeah, it feels good. It feels wonderful. 500 in that spin. That's a chick. We can't put that one in the next card. As much as we would try, it's probably a pretty bad idea. Uh, wealthy capsule's not necessary. We can get 20 from it. Like, I, I, technically, wealthy capsule should be fine because it will pop, and then like the 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 pearls will, will do stuff and everything else. So it's like it's not a bad idea. It's just not necessary. And what do we make there? We make 500 again. Beautiful stuff. Right, we pass rent as always. Card shark not necessary. Bartender chicken no, thank you. Fossil all that stuff. Yeah. So like, if we decided to go miss fruit, this would be hilarious. But like, it would be a really bad idea. Um, I would love to do compost heap in this build, um, but it'd be so bad because like, as you can see, we would have just made a seed here. We have um, watering can, I believe. So it would, it would, oh, we don't. We'd need watering can. So it'd grow instantly. And then we'd need a miss fruit, like around somewhere to like eat it. But that wouldn't happen like all the time. So bad idea. Got ourselves a tedium capsule here. We're gonna get the double chance of, un uh, of commons. Uh, a goldfish. Cool. Now we have four goldfish. If I can remember to get eggs, I will. We also get to triple this guy, so we'll get about 600 if. 612, 618. Okay, cool. I, I can maths. I can maths. Another buffing capsule, is, which is absolutely wonderful. Triple this guy too. So we're, we're, we're on it. We're on the way. I This guy's pulled ahead now. There was 50 in between, and this dude's uh, a good... I can do maths. 70 in front, or actually it's like around, not almost 80 now. And with the, the rent where it's at, we technically would need to make 550 per spin. Like a good average of like 550 or a little bit above, uh, making 500. So, I mean, I feel like we're still technically behind. We are endless and we will be endless for a little bit, for sure. And like anytime we like triple one of these guys, um, that I guess that is what pushes the average up, especially with the wild card. Um, doing its help. I mean, imagine having like rusty gear here just because of this situation here, just for them to double themselves up. Uh, I'll take the pearl. I mean, I don't have to, but I'll take it. And then we have this one location where like all the pearls are gonna show up because of the because of the MTs, which is absolutely great. Cool. Nothing needed there. Lock pick sure, but we're never gonna use it ever again. And this guy uh, clearly sent the other geologist away uh, for like a, a vacation day or something uh, just so he could show up and, and do more. Got another egg. So that's the, the fifth egg in the carton. Oh my god. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to fill up an egg carton for once. And this is due to the fact that we don't actually have any... We don't have any other luck. Like, um, no luck givers at all. So we're just only getting commons. I think throughout the game, um, you'll slowly start getting more luck anyway. But yeah, maybe this lucky capsule will be nice to us and give us another geologist just for funsies. Um, because it honestly is the ultimate geologist build, as I said. Uh, Robin Hood, no, Rabbit Fluff we can take just because it will disappear before it even goes into the spin. It doesn't affect us in any way, it just gives us some passive money. 220, 154, and 136, making around about 700. Goldfish, aha, I did it. Fish tank up to six. He's crazy. We, this guy's on 222. I don't know, I don't know where I want, I, I, I want to stop, really. Uh, it's kind of almost like a speed run to see how quick we can, we can, we can build up these uh, geologists, but we're making a lot, 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 lot of money. Um, egg carton, you're on five, so we only need one more egg, and then we're done. What would be really cool? I mean, it's it's not really a thing, right? Like, so the fish tank, yeah, the fish tank, um, you can put all all the goldfish in the item, and that that's it forever. The lint roller does the same for every rabbit fluff, right? Coin on a string does the same for every coin. 
Like, it's unlimited. But what isn't unlimited is... Hang on. Thank you. Comfy pillow. What isn't unlimited is um, egg carton, right? Actually, I don't know. I've never tried it. I've never seen if, like, if you get more than six eggs, do the do the eggs keep going in there? Because the thing is, is, is it says six per spin. So I'm I'm I always assumed that like you could only ever put six eggs in there, and then the rest of the eggs just show up. I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, I'm gonna get this oyster. So I mean, technically, due to the point that we are in this, and we are just kind of stacking up these guys as we go along. We got to the point that I think we have a bit too many oysters. To be fair, it's gonna be—it's gonna make it a little bit harder to stack these guys up. I mean, as long as you've got an empty space next to a geologist, it's, it's not really a problem, is it? All right, so we've got six eggs now. Look at that! Look at that! Beautiful stuff. Because the thing is, is as long as like you spin right, and then even if even if these just make a ton of pearls, as long as you you spin. And you have one geologist show up. It's not, it's not a bum deal. It's not a bad idea to have more oysters. Because at the end of the day, you'll spin one more spin, and then they'll, the geologist will show up, and they'll be round like a million pearls because of all the pearls that came from the oysters. Like this, for instance, is crazy. Right, so we can now we can now test our theory um, when we in fact see another egg carton. What I want to see is um, I want to see another egg. Uh, we'll skip this spin and get a rare item, sure thing. Get ourselves a booster pack. Okay, cool booster pack. Maybe you can help out. No, no. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Okay. Didn't, but okay. Have another lucky capsule. Got another golem for more. Or I want to see if this keeps taking eggs. Uh, magic key chef. No, thank you. Got no rerolls either. And um, yeah. Buffing capsule, okie dokie. Got lucky, hit one dude, and it hit the uh, wild card as well. So we'll make a decent amount of money from that, that's fine. I feel like, technically I wasn't, I feel like technically I'm still going to lose eventually. It's not like a permanent, I don't think I'm, yeah, I don't think there's a permanency towards this endless. I'll grab another golem. I could have picked the goldfish there, I saw that, but I want the golem. Because the golem levels them up quicker because of ore, and the ore mining also gives them money. We could um, we could treasure map here, but I don't want to. I'm just gonna leave this treasure map there forever. Because yeah, look, all the all this ore and stuff is like really good, and it levels them up. And then there's like a level of money we would have got from the mining pick if I was paying attention to to what it actually gives you. Another goldfish, but all I'm looking for is an egg now. I'm not even. I'm not even where. Look at that, 200. Good job, mate. This guy's 245. This guy's 200. I'm not even paying attention to that anymore. I just wanna, just wanna, I just wanna see what happens if I if I get more eggs. Like, do they go on my map? Or does it go into the egg cut? Does this pull eggs into this? Gives one for each egg in this item, up to a maximum of six coins each spin. Um, I get it. I uh, like. I still kind of understand what it means by that, but hey, we tripled both these guys, so we made a lot of money per spin. Look at that boom, one thousand, two thousand, beautiful. We'll skip another spin. Uh, still doing really good. Can get another rare. Reroll, reroll. Didn't get anything there. Barrow dwarves. <laughs> we can get left of the rabbit because we have. Um, the limb roller. This is a perfect location, jeez. Plus, next to a wild card, too. You know, very decent money. 1,000. Another goldfish. I just won an egg game. 
I've been stuck trying to do the science this entire time and you refuse to let me. He's, he's so good. I love this. I think this is one of my favorite builds. Like, I think if we're talking about builds in general, one of my favorite builds is more than like a geologist because it, it, it's, it's something that works with common stuff, right? It's finally another egg. Right, okay. So now what I've spun, I'm going to check the inventory. And we'll see if the egg exists. Goldfish. The egg doesn't exist. It eats all eggs, but it only gives you six per spin. I don't like that because look, I have... I have 12 goldfish here now, right? And I'm going to get 12 coins from the fish tank. So, yeah. Why is everything else unlimited, but the egg carton not? I can pick this egg, but like, why would I now? Like, there's no point. No longer is this an, a necessary pick for me. So I've maxed out the egg the egg carton we have three guys almost over 200 now the piggy banks up to 330 the fish tanks up to 12 item capsule could give me whatever it's not gonna matter I'm honestly really happy with this build I don't think there's too much else I can do to it um, if I skip if I keep skipping turns uh, for rare things Because that's the thing like you get eggs and then it makes more eggs and then it also has like I've had a chicken coop build before I just felt like it wasn't why is there rabbit fluff here? Hello. Oh, because it makes the rabbit fluff on the turn Okay, and then you and then you spin and then it goes away. That's okay. Sure That's how it, it's calculated that makes sense my bread. Oh a diamond my brain just did not understand what it was talking about. Right, so we've got a diamond. Our first ever diamond from ore. Get out of here. Don't want you. And we'll have the... the um, let the mine continue, continuously spam. We've got 220, 250, 266. I think what we'll do... Um, if we're being really honest, like... Let, let's go about this like in a way. I was going to say... At the end of the day, um, let me look at our money. At the end of the day, I will probably be losing fairly soon. Um, Cause um, I was just trying to think about it in a way. Um, we, we still make a good average of the rent cycles, but like how I'm working, I will be skipping. But eventually, We'd get to the telescope or we'd get to the protractor because we're, we're running through the the rare things right now, right? We're also going to be tripling these. So it's not going to be quite a while until I do, in fact, lose. So, I don't know. Maybe. I'll tell you what. Hmm. I'm sitting there thinking. 269. Nice. Um, I was going to say, I could do two, two, two different things. I'll end it here, but with the, with the promise is if enough people comment on the video um, and say, you know, this or that, um, that we carry on this build and we, especially with another geologist and recycling, we push towards getting these guys up to a thousand and seeing if we can, because I can always, I can always exit the game here um, and then return to it at a later stage. I can also open up multiple instances of, um, of the game so I can still do different runs whilst I'm waiting on it. So I'll leave that to you guys. Either way, I'm done. Thank you so much guys for watching. Do you want to watch me try and get these geologists past the 1000 mark? And I want me to have like continue this build. If so, yeah, woo. It'll probably be like another 20, 50, 20 to 30 minutes worth of me talking about the game whilst we do it. Um, if not, then let me know. And then we'll just be done with this this whole build. We got 12. Let's tell you what. 
whilst we're here, just in case this is the, the end of the era for the this um, ultimate geologist build, I mean, it's doing amazing. Let's go look at the destruction of what we have done and how many things we have destroyed um, before we carry on. That's going to be our final chemical seven. So let's look at the inventory. We have destroyed 41 or five golems, eight bubbles, 548 pearls, 14 sapphires, and 22 shiny pebbles and two mines. We have completely and utterly crushed it. We have 89, 234, 7, 218, and 277 geologists. Either way, let me know. Do you want me to carry this build on? Um, or do you want me to carry, uh, blah, 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 do what I always do and play another game? Until next time, guys, have a really good one. I'll speak to you later. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And goodbye!